Welcome back everybody. I'm your host Kelly Sparks. Hey gay, red beard. So we're back again for a third installment yeah. with my part-time co-host and full-time co-host on the Bearded Idiots, Mr. Curtis Harmon. Mm -hmm. Man so, fights once a year. Right? I mean, fuck it. So I was at the store today looking for uh, <clears throat> whiskey for another video and then I just rounded the corner and I saw this one and I was like, oh, he's got new packaging. He has a box now. And the bottle's a little different. The first bottle was really dark. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Uh, but now he has a box, cool little label, one for all. And he also has an age statement. Son of a bitch. So I think I really want to believe that uh, Conor McGregor saw the first video. <laughs> <laughs> the first video that we did. Uh, saying that it has over 750,000 views. I'm sure he got on there and was... At, somebody's at least mentioned it. Somebody's like, dude, you're not getting very good reviews on this. Right. They're like, well, these two fucking white guys from <laughs> East Texas shit all over it. Yeah. So. Well, we weren't the only ones giving it a... No. I mean, I think most of the most of the reviews you could have found online right there were like a... Yeah. It's a, it's it's a, a middle of the road yeah, Irish whiskey. It's a meh. It's a... Uh, yeah, it's meh. But uh, I do like that... He is adding to it. So now you've got the four year age statement on the bottle. Yeah. Aged four years in bourbon barrels. And uh, it's still 80 proof. I'd like to see a little more alcohol. Agreed. Bump it up to 90 at least. And it, again, he's going, he's sticking to his gun. It's a whiskey for everybody. Yeah, it is. You know what I mean? You, you get up above and you get up into the, you know, 50, 60, 70%, and you, you shut out some people, man. Yeah, you're, <laughs> you're definitely going to. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, the, the mass majority of people are not going to enjoy anything over 50% 50, 50 alcohol. Right. Yeah. But um, I've always you, said, though, that I agree with you, is give it to me at yeah. barrel proof and let me proof it yeah. down. You give know what I mean? Yeah. If it's too much, let me handle the proofing it right? down. Right. I'm yeah. a grown ass man. Well, we're going to get into it pretty quick, trying not to make this too long and drawn out. Somebody commented on the very first video. If you haven't watched the video, I'll link it above. Um, we just we really just shat on it and it wasn't that good <laughs> and we did it again a second time about a year and a half ago or so after <laughs> at his last fight right <laughs> uh, the one I think he was the one he got beat by Khabib yep yeah that's the one we did the last video then and we had noticed a change yeah so there was an improvement in Correct. the product this smells good yeah it smells sweet and floral yep it smells more like a more like an Irish whiskey. Yes, it smells more like I. It kind of like brings, I don't know. There's some like red breast shit going on in here. So, uh, the normal Jameson release is a four year old Irish whiskey. No. So this one is now comparable to that. I drink uh, a lot of Jameson at the bar. Yeah, right. So we're not gonna nose it 37 times like we did last time before we drank right. it. So let's go ahead and get into it. Honey. Yeah, honey. Honey. Very honey bit, forward. Honey and a little bit of spice. Yeah. That is... It's got a little bite to it on the back end yeah, there. Yeah, that's probably... And the honey's still going, so it's actually kind of... I thought it was going to be a lot more flat and yes. thin on the palate. It's not. That's, that's not at all. That stands up on the tongue, man. Yeah, that's... Uh, it's a lot thicker in the mouth <laughs> <laughs> It's lingering. You know, it's got a long finish. Yeah. That's, that wasn't the case for sure three years ago or whatever it was. Yeah, and it, I don't even think it was the case a year and a half ago. No. Um... Man, he's got a better product on his hand. He does have a better product on his hand. And I ain't trying to suck the man's wee-wee, right. uh, but I think, I definitely believe that he saw the reviews, or like you said, somebody told him the reviews, Yeah. and they stepped up their game. Probably right. invested a little more. I mean, he's making a shit ton of money off this of course stuff. course he is. I mean, hell of a marketer. I mean, he's a marketing genius. Yeah. Who wouldn't want that guy on their on their team to, to try to hype a product? Right? You know what I mean? He's a hell of a hype man. Yeah. You get uh, that guy on your side and you're going to sell something. But yeah, it's still honey. Yeah, Even still now, just hanging in there, man. Just honey. It won't go away. No. I don't know if that's a... Uh... It's not very oily in the glass. No. But it's, 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 a little it's got bit. some legs running in there. It's got some legs, a little bit, yeah. But that, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm not mad at that at all. That's a... It's honeyed flowers. Yes. That's what it is. Right. And to me, like one ice cube, two or three fingers of this, one ice cube, 
It's sweet water. Yeah, everybody it's can just, drink that. It's just honey flavored water. Right. But let's give it one more sip and call it a day. What do you think? Yeah. All right. There's nothing wrong with that. No, not at all. That I would is say a, that's an above average Irish whiskey. That is, yeah, for a triple distilled blended, like low yeah. level. Um, They're getting it figured out. Yeah. You know, we talked about <laughs> that earlier on. Was like, hey, it's a brand new company. He's having to, you know, I'm, mostly I'm sure he's the money man and a decision maker. He's got somebody on the back oh, yeah. end that's he, distilling for him. He, right? Yeah, he's got, I mean, I can't read his name, but the master distiller. It's. <laughs> that guy. D something. Yeah. His first name obviously D starts with a D. Snyder. No. Yes, that guy. Um, no, I believe it's actually. I haven't looked up all the information on this in a while. Today's video was really just kind of like a, oh, oh shit, yeah. <laughs> it's happening today. Yeah, so, he's fighting tonight. Yeah, it's like, let's, hey, let's let's try to. This is a shameless plug at trying to get <laughs> more views and subscribers for my channel. So, all right. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see a proper 12 logo on the on the mat this evening. Oh, I guarantee it. You know what I mean? Guarantee it. He's well, not a dummy. And what I, I'm not a huge fan of Irish whiskeys. Like you said, no. well, I had I had my period where I drank a lot of Jameson. Easy to drink. Sure. Super un, non-invasive. Right. Uh, but me specifically, I like heavy, high-proof bourbons. Mm -hmm and very powerful flavorful scotches this boy one, you're in luck for your next video right <laughs> <laughs> so anyway um this tastes and drinks a lot better than its predecessors it is Agreed. a completely different whiskey yeah they're getting they're getting their shit figured out and if, they're coming along with it and, and if, I'm, I'm happy to see it if you're a long time subscriber of this channel you know i don't pull any punches when it comes to shitty whiskey and I tell it like it is. So you can believe me that honestly, this is becoming a better product. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't be surprised if you see higher age statements on it four or five years from now. Yeah, I would imagine he's got some sitting somewhere that's just, oh. just aging, you he's, know what I mean? He'll have, I guarantee you, mark my words, I'm gonna call it right now, in within about four to five years, he's gonna have a special like 10 or 12 year release. Right. And it's not gonna be, obviously it's not gonna be 12 years, since they first started <laughs> distilling, but he's gonna source a 12, 10 to 12 year old whiskey yep. from the distillery that's actually distilling it, put the proper 12 label on it and make a fuck ton of money. Yep. So good for him, good for Conor McGregor. Right. Uh, my hat's off to him, thanks. Yeah, he's doing the right thing. Yeah, he's definitely doing the right thing. You know, he, he, for whatever you wanna think about him as far as the way he promotes his yeah. fights and all that kind of jazz, he's doing the right thing with his whiskey. He's, he's taking it down the right roads. And I mean, I like how big thing is we are honored to share this with you and proud to donate to first responders a proper salute to all right. and I think it's the first whenever you buy this bottle it's the first responders in your area right on. believe so I think that's correct I don't know I might be lying it's the internet you can say whatever you want right fuck it I think that's all we got <laughs> uh, don't forget <laughs> check the description below for all the links to help out with the bills around the house I'll uh, link the description to the original video above Check the booted idiots, like the video, subscribe, share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. Cheers to everybody. Who do you got in the fights? Uh, I think Poirier. You think Poirier? Yeah. I'm going Mac. I'm going Mac Attack. Yeah. Luck of the Irish. <laughs> Fuck that French bastard. Right. <laughs> anyway. He's from South Louisiana. <laughs> cheers. Thanks for watching. Like always, drink some whiskey, share it with your friends and family. Be safe. Don't drink and drive. Take care. And we'll see you next time. Yeah. Buddy. It's right there at the end. You can't handle it. Fuck it, can't handle it. Can't handle it. Fucking figure it out. Tug on your balls. <laughs>